guys it's really sunny i hope you can see my face hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great okay what is today's date today's date is fourth it's fourth of june okay tuesday 2024 and it's time for our wait for today and exit from ucb island how are you doing my darling how is your day going i hope your day is going on well you know that that is what i will always wish you my darling all right now and our topic today i love it our topic today says storm proofed for life storm proofed for life okay now our bible reading is taken from the book of luke chapter 6 verse 46 and i read from my bible verse 46 it says it's about the wise and the foolish builders okay verse 46 says and why call ye me lord lord and do not do the things which i say okay <laughs> god help us to do the things he said we should do amen okay and let's continue my darling yes remember the words of the old sunday school song the wise man built his house upon the rock. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The storm hit both houses, leaving only the wise man's house standing. Jesus wasn't simply recommending the virtues of wisdom over foolishness. The truth is, we are all wise at times and foolish at others. And he wasn't saying the house that survived the storm was a believer's house, while the house that perished belonged to an unbeliever. Neither was he implying that the church attendance house withstood the storm while the non-attendance house collapsed. When things are at their worst and we are pushed to the wall, when we doubt our chances of survival, when we have used up our last ounce of resistance, is not our wisdom salvation or church attendance that gets us through the storm why these are crucial important aspects of christian life for which we praise god many wise faithful believers go under in life storms an abusive relationship a financial collapse and unfaithful partner the loss or illness of a child a mental or physical disability Jesus' point wasn't even a plea for increased knowledge of his words, but homeowners understood his word by simply saying, Lord, I totally agree with you, won't get you through the storm. The point Jesus was making here is that doing what you hear him say is what will get you through the storm. God has bound himself to honor his word and your obedience aligns you with it and activates his power on your behalf praise the lord Hallelujah. it looks like this looks like it's dark isn't it <laughs> okay okay my darling we've just heard that okay so doing what we hear god tells us to do is the only thing that will help us go through that storm okay sometimes we lose our focus and not being maybe being strong but what is god trying to tell us is that we have to open up and ask god and he will show us the right way okay so we need to understand what is our topic again storm proofed for life okay so the most important thing that we're going to take out here is for us to actually do what we hear god tell us to do and how are you going to hear god speak to you by doing what he tells you to do reading the bible creating time for god okay with this way you can able to hear god speak to you and be able to go through that storm because god is going to save you amen so we understand in everything that we've read here the point that jesus was trying to make here is that when you try doing what he tells you to do that is the only thing that will get you through the storm you see that storm those storms that we're going through <laughs> that is not easy but when we obey god we get through that storm and our obedience will help us align with it and from there he's going to activate his power on our behalf
<laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My darling. God help us so. Yes, my darling. I want to thank you so much for listening. Don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Island and we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Kind of refer back to my previous videos just down the description there. You're going to see the chapters we've read. Okay. But for today, we are reading 2 Kings chapter 15, chapter 16 and Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 from verse 24 to 48. Yes, you heard me right. Thank you again for listening. You know, I love you, my darling, but God loves you most. Okay. Remember our topic, Storm proved for life so for you to get through that storm you have to do what god tells you to do may god help us to do what he has ordained and tell us to do in the name of jesus amen see you again in my next video and don't forget to share you know i love you see you bye bye <laughs>